Hello there, I'm your U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley, once again back with you with my weekly webcast. Uh, this week uh, I invite you to send in emails. I usually answer emails at the end of my webcast. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to leave you with uh, some comments from Iowans who were here for uh, the inauguration. Uh, this is uh, the inauguration that's very historic. The first time an African American has become president of the United States. It shows the rest of the world, not just that there's opportunity for all people in the United States, but it also represents the peaceful transition uh, going from one head of state to another head of state, something that is unique in the world from the sense that we've been doing it for 236 years and that's longer than any other republic but also it's unique in the sense that so many countries don't have such peaceful transfer of authority. I had a chance to uh, be on the platform maybe just uh, 50 feet from President Obama hearing his speech and I thought the speech was very, very good. I'll give you from what standpoints. Number one, it was equally divided between domestic and international issues. Number two, on domestic issues, he seemed to uh, state things that I believe are very important for America to succeed. One, the role of the individual. And from the standpoint of the role of the individual, uh, accountability and responsibility. In other words, we all have to be accountable for carrying our full share. We have to be responsible for our own individual actions and the extent to which each of us do that will have a better society and a richer country. He also spoke about the role of government, but the limited role of government uh, from the standpoint that all of us pulling together will overcome. Now the government plays a role in it, but a lot of people think that government is dominant in everything that goes on in the United States, whereas government is very much a minor player in everything that goes on in the United States because the individual is so powerful within this country and collectively we're much more powerful than the government. Uh, and so we can't look to the government to solve every one of our problems. We've got to solve some ourselves. And then on international issues, uh, he spoke about completing where Bush started off with Iraq and Iran, or I mean Iraq and uh, uh, Afghanistan. And that's quite a surprise to me because during the campaign, he spoke about getting out of Iraq. You'd get the impression, get out the day after he's sworn in as president. He wants to finish in Iraq. He wants to finish in Afghanistan, but that's not the end of it. He left a very clear impression to the rest of the world that he intends to have the United States play a very leading role uh, in international uh, peace, prosperity, and trade. Following the speech, I had an opportunity to go for a, uh, a luncheon with President-elect Obama. That didn't include all 100 senators, basically the chairman of committees and the ranking members. As a Republican, I'm now considered a ranking member, no longer chairman, because the Democrats are in the majority. Uh, so I was able to uh, be at a table with chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, Barney Frank, my wife, uh, the new special trade representative, uh, Mr. Kirk, who is a former mayor of Dallas, uh, and another congressman. And uh, I was able to be there. Had to go early though. I mean I had to leave early because you know what? The next thing for me to do, the next thing for me to do was to host, uh, co-host with Senator Harkin, a reception for Iowans who were here. And it wasn't supposed to start till two. But there were so many people waiting to get in that we started at 45 minutes early, obviously the food ran out. There were so many people that came to this reception 
that uh, they were out in the hallway. We had to open up another committee room. And I thought when we planned this, that quite frankly, Senator Harkin and I'd be lucky to have people, a sparse group of people within this committee room. So I was overjoyed with the fact that so many Iowans coming. I had a lot of chance to visit with those Iowans and some of the, uh, of the video we'll show you now will uh, tell you uh, what some of those Iowans thought of the inauguration. Uh, and uh, we'll also show you some video uh, that I took of the inauguration itself. So, uh, you can view the, the, the video that we have, and I'll see you next week uh, when we have our next webcast. In the meantime, I invite you to uh, send in emails, and we'll answer emails. It's great to be out here for uh, Barack Obama and Joe Biden's inauguration. It's just uh, a thrilling event. It's just uh, unbelievable to stand in the uh, uh, in front of the uh, uh, Capitol building and look back to the uh, Washington Memorial and see all the uh, people cheering and waving flags. And I'm looking forward to uh, uh, that we can get a spirit of working together and get this country, both parties working together and, and having a great uh, tackle some of the problems of the United States and uh, get us back on. My name is Matt Evans from Joyce, Iowa, and I am excited to be out here at the inauguration. Just met Senator Grassley, and I've uh, been very pleased at the work that's been done on here. And uh, I'm excited to see a positive attitude for the future of this conference.